Worship you. Hallelujah. You're too faithful to fail me. Mandolo Brudodush. You're too faithful to disappoint me. And yourself in my life. And I've come to realize. You're too faithful to fail me. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, Sister Danita. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Phil, good morning. Sister Pam, good morning. And I've come. Sister Frasina. God bless you. Good morning. Brother Bayomi, good morning. Mama Pat, by the Spirit. Ew. Sister Mildred, by the Spirit. Brother Frank, good morning. Sister Sabil, by the Spirit. Mama Mabel, by the Spirit. Sister, um, Sister Nomasa, by the Spirit. Mama Nema, by the Spirit. Sister Irene, good morning. Precious Gold, Nikki Thomas, Majestic, Oh, everybody, Mosunda, Sister Christiana, everyone, Mama Lemma, everyone, Sister Nadia, good morning, everyone. God bless you. Thank you for connecting. How are we doing? Day three. <laughs> Come on, give him praise. For the grace to wait upon him these three days is not by mind, it's not by power, but it's by the spirit of the living God. So just give him praise for keeping us. Give him praise. Faithful God, faithful God, faithful God, faithful God, faithful God. Hey, Kalubra Gadush kept us thus far this one year. Hey, la ba ba ba. Welcome everyone. God bless you as you come in. Just share, share, share. It's day three. Our final day. Just share, share, share. Let somebody know that we are online. Let's give God praise. Tag them. Tell them day three of our fasting and prayer. The last day. Come on, let's speak into our day. Let's pray as we start our day fasting and praying. Come on. And when you've done that, just open your mouth and just bless him for his faithfulness. Keeping us one year GIM. Keeping you, giving you the grace to know him more. Give him the grace, yes. Giving you the grace to fast, wait upon him these three days. Come on, bless him for all he's done. Come on. You're too loving to leave me. Too loving. Hey, Kali, da, 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 da. You're too loving to leave me halfway. The good work God has started in your life. Listen, He is. He is too faithful to leave you. Yes, Brother Thompson, you can join in. Join us today. We're going to, you know, have our online prayer video. Join us. There is no time, better time. Yes, if you're just coming in, just join us. Join in and pray. The theme is by the Spirit. Eh? Make notes. Go watch our videos and carry on from there. If the Lord presses in your heart to take it three more days till Sunday, God bless you. Yes, praise God. Come on. Thank you, Mama Nana the Nana. She's reminding you to share, share, share. Come on, let's share. 
let's let's get everyone on board day three final day grand finale on the third day jesus rose from the dead that same spirit dwells in you to quicken your mortal body come on when you've done that just open your mouth just begin to bless the name of the lord faithful god dependable god reliable king we bless your name we give you praise we give you honor we give you adoration we give you all dominion we say let power majesty be ascribed unto you father you've been with us all through the pandemic you've been with us oh god for one year lord we've seen your mind we've seen your power we've experienced your glory we've come back to give you all praise we thank you for today somebody bless the name of the lord father i thank you for the grace to wait upon you i Thank you, Jesus. Latale breko tu la bragada. Iye te 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 te. Zunga tu la bragadosha. Mantele keti la braha. Lentele prekete ha. Lokoto. Somebody press jipa. Come on, bless his name. Hey, dada. Today is our day of voice of thanksgiving at the all night. Latatata. You're blessing him because you know that what you were waiting for him for, God has answered you. Latale breko tu la braha. Iye te to to to. Masatu la bragadesh, iye te 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 te, liga du la bragadosha, mandulo brogoro. Somebody bless his name. Somebody give him praise. Landu la bragadosh, shende le preha, ekale te te. I bless you, Lord. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you adoration. You've been good. You've been kind. Blessing for your loved ones. Blessing for all he's done. Blessing for our lives. Akale prekoto. Grace to carry on one year. Father. Father, we thank you for all the miracles, for your mighty hand, for your deliverance. A hey, faithful Father, we thank you, God, today. That is the third day. Oh, God, yes, we see your might. We see your power. We experience your glory. Take all honor, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. In Jesus' name, we worship and thank him. Let the saints say a living amen. Come on, say a ballistic amen. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone online. Day three of our three days fasting and prayer program. It's been an experience, I tell you. The theme is by the Spirit. Hallelujah. I've seen some messages there that, you know, they've missed out. Yes, they missed out. But you know what? You can join in. You can join in. Hallelujah. I say you can join in. Join in with us today. Let God be glorified in your life. Praise God. We're going to start off. We're going to pray for our nations. Praise God. We're going to start off by praying for our nations. And if you're just connecting, God bless you. You know, I want you to share, share, share to seven people. Completion. We finish. God has enabled us, empowered us. Today we will fast and right and we complete. Hallelujah. So share, tag them. <laughs> Let them join the bandwagon for the glory of God to be greatly manifested. And if today is your first time, God bless you. Good to have you online. Let us know where you're connecting from. We want to honor you and we want to what, pray with you at the end of the service. Praise God. First of all, we're going to pray for our nations. Isaiah 63. <laughs> C.E.V. says, I, It troubled the Lord to see them in trouble. And his angel saved them. The Lord was truly merciful. So he rescued his people. He took them in his arm and carried them all through the years. This is when the Lord delivered Israel oh, from Egypt. The Bible says he was merciful. He rescued them. He took them by his arm and carried them through the years in the wilderness. Somebody you're going to pray that the Lord will be merciful, merciful upon the nations. Carry us through all oh, these perilous times, times of difficulty, times of pandemic, times of 
natural disasters, times of chaos, times of mourning, times of hardship. Somebody open your mouth. A calubra, say, Father, by your mercy, deliver the nations, carry us through her these perilous times in the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth. La tolo brugodosha, iya da 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 ha, leko tu la braha, mantele prekete ha, akoto lo prokoto, iya da gadosha, lekete lebre. Are you praying for the nations? I kalubra gadosha, mantele prekete ha, ale de 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 sha. Lord, be merciful to United Kingdom, carry us through. Be merciful to France. Be merciful to Italy. Be merciful to Spain. You know what is happening in Europe. There is a third strain that hit the continent. We are asking the Lord to be merciful. Open your mouth. Lagadula bragadosha e katele prekete latana bragada. Be merciful, Father. Be merciful, ancient of days. Be merciful, King of glory. Le kotula bragada iye te 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 latala bragadosha metele bregede ha iye te 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 ha lo dono bragadosha iya da 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 ha iye te 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 lo kotula braga. Open your mouth. Call the nations. I want you to stand in the nation that you are in. I want you to stand in the nations of the earth. O Kalubra, E Kaliba, Kimbi, all the way from California. You are welcome. I want you to stand in the gap for United States of America. Let the Lord be merciful. Let the Lord be merciful with South America. We we lift up Brazil right now. E Kalubro, Yadagadagada. Iye de bregodosha, iya da ba 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 ha, mandolo brodosha, e ya da 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 ha, loko tulo bra ha, la tulo bregodosha, e la brida ha, le kutala bra ha, li da da bra ba ha, matele bregodosha, matolo bregodosha, e la bra ha, iye te 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 he, la tulo bregodosha, mantali bregada ha, my God, my God, Father, be merciful to the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus, a katele brede he, matolo bregodosha, iya da da da. Mantali Bragadesha, Le Cotulabra. Somebody pray, E Calibra. I say pray, Macatulabra. I say pray, Le Coto. Remember all the nations of the earth. Let the Lord be merciful. Let the Lord be merciful. Ah, Catele Brigade. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We lift up all the nations of the earth. We lift up, yes, Namibia. Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Mozambique, Swaziland, Ekalu Bragado Shetelebre, St. Thomas, St. Martins, Dominica, Canada, Venezuela, Australia, Ekali Bagado Shotolo Brondosa, Ekala Baba, yes, Egypt, Israel, E UAE, Lakoto, Kuwait, Apale Prekotula Braga, Yekete, Ghana, Cameroon, Mandolo Brogodosha, Iada, Iran. Iraq, Leto lo Brogodosha, Poland, Makate Lebre, Sierra Leone, Congo. We lift up all the nations and Lord, we ask be merciful Lord, towards us. Uh, carry us through these perilous times. Deliver us, O oh God. Uh, eh, deliver our economies. Uh, deliver our social systems. Uh, deliver our healthcare system. Let the death toll cease uh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, let the church shout, shout a ballistic amen. Come on, shout a ballistic amen. It's day three. Be revived in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome everyone again to morning cry and day three of our three days fasting and prayer program. If you've not started with us, you can still join in and God will touch you. Do you hear me? We are breaking at 6 p.m. 6 to 6, your time zone. Break on your own tonight because we are not meeting. But we are meeting later for the all night. I want to encourage you to join in. And as you do so, God will touch you. And I want somebody here to share. Let somebody be part of this move in the name of Jesus. So share, share, share. If today is your first time, let us know. Yes, let us know. We want to acknowledge you and pray with you. Like and follow and you will be blessed. Praise the Lord. The theme for our fast is by the Spirit. And we are going to pray pray today and I want you to engage with your heart. I want you to engage fervently so that the spirit of God will be greatly manifested in your life. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Shout a ballistic amen three times. Amen. 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 Ezekiel eleven nineteen. Thank you Lord. Ezekiel eleven nineteen. Berian study Bible says and I will give them singleness of heart 
and put a new spirit <laughs> within them. I will remove the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. My God, when the Spirit of God is upon you, it gives you singleness of heart. And we know the importance of singleness of heart because the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable. A double-minded man cannot receive of the Lord. You want your heart to be single. The Bible also tells us in Matthew 6, 22, the light of the body is in the eye. If therefore the eye, my God, my God, be single. The whole body will be full of light. You want your mind to be single. You want your eyes to be single. You want to be focused on the Lord. Let somebody open their mouth. E kalubragadosh. Men celebrate. Say, Father, by your spirit. Give me singleness of mind. Give me what? A singleness. Give me singleness of mind that I may receive from you and cause my light to be full. Open your mouth and pray. You want your heart to be single. You want your eyes to be focused on the Lord. You want your eyes to be single so that you can receive of the Lord. So that your whole body is light, is lit. Pardon me. Your whole body is lit because where there is light, darkness cannot comprehend. Where the light of God is, darkness is expelled. Somebody open your mouth. Father, by your spirit, give me single-mindedness. That I may receive from you and cause my light to be full. Are you praying? Father, singleness, a calabra, singleness, a catulabra, singleness of mind that I will receive for you, that my light will be full, a darkness is expelled. Mashatale Bredesh. Iada bagadula bragadasha, mandolo bragadosha, lete li bragada, iete kutula braha, mandolo bragadosha, lete te te te, are you praying? Matali braha, iete tuka, matolo bragadosha, singleness, by your spirit, a calibre, by your spirit, la tala bragadosha, mentele bragade, iete te te te, zondolo bragadosha, a calibragada, lete te te, zondolo bragadosha, iada da da da, iata kata. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Makatula Bragadusha Legidada Ezekiel 36 27. My God. Ezekiel 26 36 verse 27. GNT. Magali Bragadush. Legedesh. Thank you, Jesus. He says, I will put my spirit in you. And you will see to it uh, that, uh, and when the spirit is, he says, and you, uh, and will see to it uh, that you follow my laws and keep all my commands I have given you. I will put a new spirit in you and it will cause you uh, to follow the laws. It will cause you to keep the commands of God. It will cause you to walk in obedience. Some of us are so disobedient. That devil is a liar. It's because the spirit of God hasn't been poured on us. The spirit of God is not active. The spirit of God is latent. Listen, the Bible says in Galatians 5, 16. And then I say, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. When you Walk in the spirit. The lust of the flesh is dead. When you walk in the spirit, you have the ability to obey the commands of God. You have the ability to live in righteousness. Who is desirous after this season to walk in righteousness? Listen, we are waiting on the Lord. We are fasting, not because of only our needs, but to kill the flesh. To walk in the spirit. To live a righteous life. Matale Brekoto. Yes, it's a time of feasting. 
our spirit man is a time of building our spiritual muscles so i believe we have people on the prayer line that want to walk in the spirit that want to walk in righteousness that want to walk in obedience if you're like myself that you want more of god then open your mouth and pray my god say by the power of the holy ghost i receive grace to walk in obedience and righteousness i walk in the spirit open your mouth and pray more of you less of me let my flesh die who is desirous kingdom focus seek first the kingdom of god every other thing will be added open your mouth by your spirit god by the power of the holy ghost i receive grace to walk in obedience and righteousness i walk in the spirit in the name of jesus open your mouth let flesh die let my spirit man be alive. Let me walk in the spirit. Let me walk in obedience. Let me walk in righteousness. Open your mouth. Matala bragadosha. Let te 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 te. Zuga dula braha. Iya daga dosa. Matola bragadosha. Eh la ta ta ta. Let my flesh die. I will not lust after the world. I will not lust after things. I will not run in lust. Ake I will not fulfill the lust of my flesh. I will walk in righteousness i will walk in obedience i walk in the spirit open your mouth mandala bragadosha letetetete iada bragadasha mandolo bragadosha ela da 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 matula bragadosha matelebre eh let sin die let fornication die let adultery die let self centeredness die let hatred die let lies die eh kali bragadosha mendelebre de iada da da in Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. If you're just joining in, God bless you. You're welcome to our day three of our three days fasting and pro prayer program. And if you've not started, it's not late. It's never late to start seeking the Lord earnestly. I want to encourage you to join and fast today. If the Lord gives you grace to carry on, God bless you. Amen and amen. Today's your first time. Let's know if you haven't shared. I want you to share this video. Let somebody walk in the spirit and not fulfill the desires of their flesh. In the name of Jesus, tap them, put them there. Anyone you know that is struggling, let the spirit of God come upon them mightily. Yes, mightily. That it causes them to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 1, 23. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs 1, 23 says, Turn ye at my reproof. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you, my God. Ekalu, brother, turn you at my reproof. At my reproof. At my rebuke. Ekalu, at my chastisement. <laughs> At my correction, I will pour out my spirit. I will make known my words unto you. Some of us are running helter skelter from one prophet to the other, from one Facebook page to the other, because you don't know God's word for you. But the Bible tells us when He pours out His spirit, He will make known His word to you. He will make known His will and purpose for you. You will not be in the dark. Awareness is better. Revelation is better. My God, my God, you're the best prophet of your life. God wants to speak to you about yourself. God wants to open your eyes. But you need an outpouring. An outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Who is ready for this one? Who is ready for this one? Then open your mouth and say, Father, 
by your spirit make known your words for me make known your words towards me make known your will towards me make known your desires towards me somebody open your mouth by the spirit the spirit is the spirit of revelation it says you will make you know all truths open your mouth and pray by your spirit lord Make known your words for me. Make known your will. You see, his word is his will. My God, my God, open your mouth and pray. Latali Bragadosha, Mentele Prekete, Iadada. By your spirit, pour out your spirit upon me, Lord, that I will know your words for me. I will know your desire. Make known, O oh God. Make known, O oh God. That is revelation by his spirit. Somebody receive. Yes, the anointing, the empowerment of revelation. You will not be in the dark. Hey, Iada Bragadosha, Leteli Bragada, Matolo Bragadosha, Ekatula Bragada, Yete Tete Tete, Lagadula Bragadasha, Mandolo Bragada, somebody pray, Ale Preto Sinda Labraha, Mandele Brehe, La Catula Bragada, Yete Cotolo Broha, Mandolo Bragadosha, Iada Dada, Le Cotula Braha, Matole Brigade, by your spirit, Lord, make known your words for me, make known your will for me, make known your purpose for me make known your desires for me a hey, direct and lead me i will not be in the dark i receive revelation power make known your words for my family for my spouse for my children for my marriage for my career for my business, for my academics, a calibra dosa, for my ministry, for my calling, a calibre kete, ye de 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 sha, zuga dula bragada, ye de brendosa, matula bragada, ye da 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 da, le tete de brego dosa, matula bragada, ye tete, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. My God, my God, I feel the power of God. Let God make known his words for you. Let God make known his will for you. May your eyes of understanding be enlightened. May revelation be better on somebody right now. In the name of Jesus. If you're that one, say a ballistic amen three times. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Makalubra doshite. Isaiah 59 verse 21. Thank you, Lord, my God. La ta 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 ta. Zatolo progo. Revelation, my God. Mi katula bragado shete ligadada. La ta 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 ta. No more will you be in the dark. No more will you run helter skelter. No more would you give your destiny to someone else. God will make known His words for you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, help me. Isaiah 59, 21. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 59, 21. It says, And as for me, this is my covenant with them. Says the Lord, my spirit that is upon you. <laughs> and my words that I have put in your mouth. <laughs> shall not depart out of your mouth or out of the mouth of your offspring or out of the mouth of your children's children says the Lord for this time forth and evermore mm -mm -mm. did you get that? Allah Baba ba. Isaiah 59 21 King James Say, and as for me this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. 
God is saying, this is my covenant with you, Sister Steph. This is my covenant with you, Sister Rita. Sister Lemma. Eka Lubraba. Mama Dora. This is my covenant. The spirit that is upon you. That same spirit that raised Jesus Christ that is upon you. Eka Libra. My words that is in your mouth. That is why you need to know the words of God concerning you. He says, ha 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 ha. He says, my words are put in your mouth. God is the one that puts his word in your mouth. He said, shall not depart out of your mouth. It will be in the mouth of your children. It will be in the mouth of your children's children. That means it is transgenerational. My God, my God, your serving God is not in vain. Your serving God is transgenerational. Your serving God is what? Delivering the unborn generations. Do you hear me? The spirit Spirit of God is upon you. The word of God is upon you. Listen, Abraham's offspring, his children's children, yes, kept the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord never departed from them. Somebody, I prophesy, that what you do today, the investment you make today, the spiritual investment becomes transgenerational. Can we pray this way? I say, can we pray this way? He says, you will not depart. Ah, and you know, the word of God is his container of his power. The word of God brings deliverance. The word of God is all compassing. The word of God created the heavens and earth. Ah, Mateli Bragada. I pray that somebody gets this. Lika Tula Bragade. Open your mouth and say, By your spirit, Lord. Your word is in my heart. Hey, Kalaba. Hey, Kalaba. It will never depart from my mouth. It is transgenerational to my offspring's offspring. Open your mouth. The word of God. The word of God is in your heart. It's written in your heart. It's imbibed in your character. It will never depart from your mouth. It is transgenerational to your children's children. Open your mouth. Makatele prekotoha. Your fast is not in vain. Your waiting is not in vain. Your service is not in vain. Your dedication is not in vain. Your loyalty and commitment to your God is not in vain. Open your mouth. Yes, Lord. By your spirit, your word is written in my heart. By your spirit, it never departs from my mouth. By your spirit, it's transgenerational to my offsprings, offsprings, my children's children. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Latata. It's transgeneration. Listen, when the word does not depart from us, it walks in us. Hey, he says it's not my water. Is my word not like fire? Is my word not like hammer? He does not do anything without his word when the word of God is in you. It works miracles. All you need is the word of God. And God's saying right now to somebody on the prayer line that by his spirit, the word is written in your heart. It will never depart from your mouth. It is transgenerated. Open your mouth and pray. La kata la bragada le koto lo brogorosa e ya da braha iye te 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 zokula bradosa mandele brede. In Jesus name we pray. My God, makali bragodosh. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Madele bredos i ya da bragadosh. What's still praying? Isaiah sixty one verse one. Thank you, Lord. Mati libre gidish. Isaiah 61, verse 1. Let's look at the Berean Study Bible version. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me <laughs> because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind 
the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and freedom to the prisoners some of you the Lord is calling you to ministry. Some of you, you want to go to the next level. You want, yes, to preach the gospel. You want what? To bring deliverance to the oppressed. Listen, listen. It's by the Spirit. Some of you have not had the effort, the impetus to preach the gospel. You're shy. You're, you lack confidence. It's because of you don't have the Spirit at that level. But the Bible tells us that the Spirit of God, when it's upon us, it gives us enablement. It gives us the ability to preach. Listen, listen. It even causes you to go to the next level for healing, for deliverance. My God, my God, who is that one that the Lord is taking to the next level? You have been saved to be to save others. You have been saved to be God's battle axe. You have been saved yes, for a purpose. Somebody that purpose is being manifested right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, I don't know. It's not for everybody. This prayer point is just for some people that want more of God, that want to be used of God, that want to be a threshing tool in the hands of God. If you are amongst those ones that you want God to use mightily, that as you're waiting for the Lord or waiting on the Lord, you want him to take you to your next level, then you're going to pray this way. Mm -mm -mm. I say you're going to pray this way. You have the desire to preach. You have the desire, yes, for healing, to bring healing. When you see people in pain, yes, your heart goes out to them. The Bible says Jesus had compassion. You're mad with Satan for holding people bound. You want to proclaim liberty. That's announce liberty. You are healed. You are delivered. You want to set the captive is free. Then you're going to pray this way. Makatila bragadush. Lekitete. Akalibre. Lakotulo bragadush. Ekatula bragadush. Likatula bragadush. Mandele bragadish. Zatale bragadish. Lokotula braga. Lekete. Open your mouth and say, I am empowered by the power of the Holy Ghost to preach the good news, to bind the brokenhearted, to proclaim, announce liberty to those in captivity, to set, yes, prisoners free, to, yes, announce deliverance. Open your mouth and pray. God is taking you to your next level. Open your mouth and pray. Come on. I say, open your mouth and pray. Say, I am empowered by the power of the Holy Ghost ah, to preach the gospel, to preach the good news. I am empowered to bind the broken heart. I am empowered to proclaim, announce liberty. I am empowered by the power power of the Holy Ghost. I bring deliverance. Yes, to my clan. I bring deliverance to my community. I bring deliverance to my family. I bring deliverance to my home. I bring deliverance. Open your mouth and pray. You have been saved for a purpose. Come and manifest. I say manifest in your office. All of us have been called and ordained in your mother womb he called you her in your mother's womb he ordained you come on go forth lakatolo brogorosha iya da 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 iye ke telebre mandolo brogorosha iye te kula braha lakatolo broha iye te 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 zunda lubra gada la da 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 aye peketo i am empowered by the power of the holy ghost to preach the gospel e kalaba i preach the gospel ma telebre i bind the broken hearted ma telebre dosha i am Announce liberty. Ale brendo sada. Mentele bregeresha. Iya da da da. Zokuta la bregada. Yeke telebre. In Jesus' name we pray. 
in Jesus name we pray I decree and declare the last time you were terrorized was the last time you are powered by the Holy Ghost sir, to bring down demons. Sir. To announce liberty. Sir. To bind the broken hearted. To bring the good news. Sir. To preach the gospel. Sir. Operating your ministry right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, shout a living amen. My God, my God. Ah, last prayer point. Isaiah 32, 15. We prayed it yesterday. At our breaking of the fast. And it has resonated with me. Thank you, Father. If you're just coming in, welcome. God bless you. I see you. I want you to tag somebody. Let them be liberated. The devil is a monkey. And you have been empowered now. You can preach the gospel by what? Sharing this video. Right now is your means a means of evangelism. Especially for us that our nations are still on lockdown. Preach, tag them, ring them. Tell them about the good news. It's not about increasing the church. It's about bringing liberty to the oppressed. Bringing them to Christ. Do you hear me? Bringing them to Christ. Father, I thank you, my God. I want to pray for somebody right now. Your hands are burning. The anointing of the Lord is coming upon you. You will preach the gospel. You will minister to the sick. You will minister to the oppressed. And you will see them liberated. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Yes, there is fire everywhere. My God. Somebody, your ministry is being bettered. You're blasting in tongues. In a deeper dimension. My God. Who is that one? Father, I thank you. My God. Every gift in it that became inert. Every gift in that is dead. By the frequency of the power of the Holy Ghost. I command it's rekindled. I command the Lord takes you to another level. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Listen, there's an office that you enter. Demons cannot terrorize you. Ah, somebody, you're stepping into that office that the Lord is using you. My God, who is that one? Ah, I feel an endowment of the power from on high on somebody today. Deeper tongues. Yes, the opening of your eyes. Yes, your ears are being opened. Yes, fire all over you right now. Yes, from your hands. Yes, in your belly. Out of you flows livers of living water. Da, da. More fire on you right now. More fire on you right now. More fire on you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord, my God. And anyone that is sick at the sound of my voice, I command your healing. I command your liberty. That sickness is expelled. I announce your deliverance. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Masata libra gadu shata libra gadu zika tila gadadadash. Thank you, Jesus, my God. Eka la pakata libra gadu. Isaiah thirty-two verse fifteen NIV. It says, "Till the spirit is poured." That means only when the spirit is poured on from on high, shakata, the desert becomes a fertile land, a fertile field. Seems like a forest. He can't do that. Listen, that was NIV. It says, till the, till the spirit is poured on us from on high, the desert becomes a fertile land. Or a fertile field, sorry. And the fertile field seems like a forest. Look at what King James says. Until the spirit be poured from on high. And the wilderness becomes a fruitful field. 
and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Do you know what that means? It's only when the spirit comes upon you that your dry land, your wilderness becomes a fruitful field, a fertile field. And some of you, you think you're okay where you are. The Bible says when the spirit is poured, that fertile field becomes a forest. That means the Lord is taking you from glory to glory and from grace to grace. I told you yesterday, from glory to glory, from grace to grace, from faith to faith. We looked at it at 2 Corinthians 3.18. Oh, Kalu Bragada. Are you ready for this last prayer point? The Spirit of God must be poured. Over. Your saving God must be evidential. Every dryness in your life receives fruitfulness hey, that, 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 that thing that you are celebrating God increases it the fruitful field, the fruitful land the fertile field, the fertile land becomes a forest the Bible says it will be counted as a forest that means your increase will be counted will be acknowledged in the name of Jesus, let somebody open their mouth and say, Father Pour out your spirit that my desert may become a fruitful land. That my fruitful land will be counted as a forest. Somebody open your mouth. Come on, speak into that thing. You're a prophet. A katula baba. He's anointed you to proclaim liberty. What areas of your life have you experienced dryness? Which areas of your life are you experiencing some wilderness? Lord, pour out your spirit. Let my desert become a fruitful field, a fruitful land. Let my fruitful field become a forest. Yes, your marriage will be fruitful. Your business will be fruitful. Your ministry will be fruitful. I command all round fruitfulness. The work of your hands, everything you touch, your children, your spouse. All round fruitfulness. All round fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. It will be counted unto me. For my productivity. For my increase. The overflow. The abundance. Come on, pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And I speak over everyone at the sound of my voice. Every area you've experienced dryness. Every area in your life that is synonymous with wilderness, deserts. Ekaluba, by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit right now, it becomes a fruitful field. It becomes a fruitful land. And I announce from one level to the other, from fruitful field, it will be counted as a forest. Nothing in your life dies. Nothing in your life is dry. Receive all around fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Receive all around fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Come on. Shout a ballistic amen. Shout a living amen. Glory to God on high. Somebody give God praise. Come on. The power of God is so mighty. Listen, anytime you talk about the spirit, he always shows himself. He always comes evidentially. I announce upon somebody's life, mighty revival. You cannot be weak. You cannot give up. The spirit of God quickens you right now. I command revival in every aspect of your life. Anything that was dying, 
again receive the life of Christ it cannot die your business cannot die your marriage cannot die you cannot die of sickness you are a living being in the name of Jesus yes somebody say I receive three times I receive I receive I receive and so shall it be as decreed by the watcher in Jesus name my God Thank you, Father. The Spirit of God is so mighty in our midst. Revelation is being bettered on somebody. Yes. The mysteries behind your deliverance is being what revealed to you right now. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen. My God, my God. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. Anointing everywhere. Anointing everywhere. Anointing everywhere. Thank you, Lord. Calibre. Just want to leave a brief charge as we reminisce on today before we meet at the all night. And I want to talk about something I've titled The Spirit Gives Liberty. <laughs> the Spirit Gives Liberty. Second mm -hmm. Corinthians 3 17, King James says, says, Now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Father, bless the reading of your word. Our text says that God is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. And where that spirit is, wherever we entertain that spirit, wherever that spirit resides, there is liberty. Listen, you are not permitted to be in bondage. Who am I speaking to this morning? I feel a rising in my spirit. I don't know why, but somebody is coming out of captivity somebody is coming out of any form of bondage it be bondage in your mind you are coming out right now in the name of jesus and we know from yesterday romans 8 11 that that same spirit that raised jesus from the dead dwells in us and the Bible now tells us that God is that same spirit. Wherever that spirit is, there is liberty. My God. See, 1 Corinthians 15, 45 says, And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. And the last man, Adam, which is Christ, was made a quickening spirit. So that spirit that dwells in Christ is that quickening spirit is that same spirit that is the spirit of the lord and is that same spirit uh -huh, that gives you liberty let somebody holla i am liberated uh, that devil is a monkey uh, that is holding your business bound uh, that is holding your ministry bound uh, that is holding your health bound uh, that is holding your children bound uh, that is holding your womb bound uh, that is holding your marriage bound uh, that is holding your establishment in that land bound somebody holla i am liberated i walk in liberty come on holla put it down there and holla is let satan hear thank you lord my god my god what is liberty liberty simply means freedom liberty means authority you know the bible says he's giving us authority to tread <laughs> Liberty is permission. God has permitted us here on earth to reign. It means right. Liberty means right. You have a right to excel. My God. And our text says, <laughs> where the spirit of God is, that spirit of liberty is. That means the spirit of freedom. Huh? The spirit of what? Right. The spirit of authority. The spirit of permission to announce. Huh? He says you will pull down. Huh? You will uproot and you will plant. Huh? He says whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Huh? Whatever you release on earth is released in heaven. That is that spirit, my God. That is why you must entertain the spirit of God. That is why you must want more of him, less of me. More of him. You must seek time to, 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 to let that spirit grow in you, manifest greatly. <laughs> you must desire more. The infilling and the outpouring of his spirit. Because it causes your liberty. Listen, Galatians 5, 1 says, Thank you, Lord. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. <laughs> Stand firm then 
and do not be encumbered once more by the yoke of slavery. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. You see, Christ died that you might be liberated. He didn't die that you will be in captivity. It is for freedom. It is for the purpose of your freedom. It is the purpose of your liberty that Christ died. Therefore, you must walk in that liberty. Christ came to set you free. I announce everyone at the sound of my voice you are free in jesus name i say you are free in jesus name <laughs> as a believer you must know this and run with it with no shadow of doubt you must know that christ came to set you free if you don't take anything from today, take this Galatians 5 word. Christ came, be speaking it. Let your spirit man, let his word not leave your mouth. Christ came to set me free. Christ came to set me free. Therefore, I am free. That is the word of God that will stay in your mouth. When you see things that are contrary, you will speak the word. You announce the word, you proclaim the word, and the word works. The word will arrest every situation. My God, you must know this truth as a believer. Run with it. The lack of knowledge will keep you in bondage, in captivity. And many believers are in captivity because they lack knowledge, they lack the truth. John 8 32 says, ha, ha, then you will know the truth. Ha, ha. They know the truth, you know, is what will set you free. Ha, 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 ha. E gadosha. Is somebody being blessed today? E kato. The truth, you know, is what will set you free. Ha, ha. E adada. And what is truth is the word of God. That is why the Bible says you should be what? A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, the word of God. You must know the devil will make you lazy, the devil will make you ignorant because what you know is what sets you free. You know, yes, I can sound like a broken record because deliverance starts from knowledge. Hmm. And this was so pertinent that Joshua said in Joshua 1 8, This book of the law shall not depart. From, from from me it shall not depart out of my mouth <laughs> i will meditate on it day and night it will not it will not depart that's why we pray that the spirit of god will put his word in our hearts it will never depart from our mouths joshua knew the potency of the word of god he knew that the word of God will bring him truth. And that truth will set him free. He said this word, Hakatala Baba, your word, Lord. <laughs> Go further. What did he say? He says, <laughs> And thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. The word of God is what sets you free. It, liber it liberates you from stagnation. It liberates you from prosperity. He says it will make you prosperous. Whatever you do, you succeed. It is in the word of God. You know, sometimes when people call, you just say, their deliverance, they lack the word. When you're having some issues, you need to go back to scripture. See how it was done. You sit down. You eat the word. Ah, his word is his power. John 8, 36 says, If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. <laughs> if the Son, unless somebody else made you free, but if Christ made you free, you are free indeed. I've come to announce to somebody today, on this day three of our fasting and prayer program, all team by the Spirit, that the Spirit of the Lord gives you all long liberty. I don't know what area that you feel bound. I don't know what area that you are struggling, but the, by the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, I announce your total liberty. You are liberated 
rejected totally. You are free indeed. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Come on, thank Jesus for his word. Thank him, yes, for bringing this word. Yes, to correct every lie the devil has told you. Yes, to remind you of his word. Some of us, we've forgotten because of challenges. But this word has come. Yes, to make you mad with Satan. To take your inheritance. Oh, can you imagine in real life, somebody is taking what is yours. You will fight tooth and nail. Somebody, you're going to fight for what is yours because you have been liberated. The spirit of God is in you. Wherever his spirit is, there is liberty. I announce your liberty. I announce your freedom indeed. In Jesus' name. Come on, thank the Lord. Thank Jesus. Come on. Thank the Holy Spirit. Le kotula bragadasha. Iye te 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 te. Zuga dula bragadasha. Mandele bre bre. I speak over you as a prophet of the Most High God. Your family is liberated. E katula bra. Your children are liberated. Your spouse is liberated. Your career is liberated. Your business is liberated. You are liberated in your health. That sickness has held you bound. That devil is a liar. Receive your total liberty. You are settled in that land. All our liberty. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. My God, my God. As you wait on the Lord this third day, may great and mighty revelation be bettered. As you wait upon the Lord this day, let all your heart desires be bettered. As you wait upon this day, Lord, this day, your spirit man is activated. Your spiritual muscles grow in the mighty name of Jesus. As you wait upon the Lord this day, listen. The Lord takes you into deeper waters as you wait upon the Lord this day. Your flesh, those things that you struggled with die. As you wait upon the Lord this day, you walk in the fullness. You walk in the fullness of your liberty. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Some of you, the Lord was touching you during the ministration, during the service, during the prayer. Let us know what God has done in your life. And I announce that everyone that experienced an outpouring, God takes you to deeper waters. Yes, Isaiah 32, 15. From dryness to fruitfulness. From fruitfulness to forest. I decree and declare, your spiritual life is ever fruitful, ever green. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise God. My God, the power of God is so mighty. I tell you, God is doing great and mighty things. Be sensitive and walk in that light. Yes, some of you, boldness has come on you. Some issues that you've not been able to confront, you will confront them and deal with that issue and move on. Because that issue is a hindrance. It needs to be dealt with and you need to move on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Everyone at the sound of my voice, sickness, pains, I command you're healed. Your liberty, every form of captivity, spiritual captivity, you're, you're liberated. Thank you, Father. Come on, go and run with this word. Let today's fast, this last day fast, bring great and mighty joy. And then when we meet at the all night, we will celebrate for all he's done. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's welcome our first time. I can go on and on. The Spirit of God is so mighty in our midst. Thank you, Father. Everyone that is joining us for the first time, God bless you. What a privilege to have you on day three of our three days fasting and prayer program. My God, God is good. God has brought you here for a purpose. And that purpose is for the outpouring of the Spirit of God in your life, for the perfection of His will and purpose. And I pray for you right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, that the Spirit of God that has come upon you can only do one thing. Yes, cause you to increase in Him, that I decree and declare He perfects all in your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the Spirit of God that has been poured upon you, causes you to be connected to God. Every form of disconnection is broken. The Bible says, I am the vine and the branches have no life without him. I decree and declare spiritual 
connectivity activation has been bettered upon you in Jesus mighty mighty name we pray amen and amen this is GIN global intercessory network we are connected from all over the world interceding for God's people enforcing his will and purpose on the nations so if you have a calling to pray where the message is pinned there is the GIN form complete it and be a registered member things have started progressing quickly we are starting our training we teach you God's word and we teach you how to pray. So join in now. This is your church. Fill the online church so yeah, you join our Zoom service. Hallelujah. For those that joined us yesterday, wasn't it brilliant? My God, my God. Praise the living God. You have a testimony. The form is there. Share. Share, share, share. <coughs> preach the gospel. The devil is a monkey that makes you timid. Preach, preach, preach. So like and follow this page. <coughs> Excuse me. We're having issues with our page, our pages. So we like you that you like and sh and follow everyone. Like and follow. Make sure you like and follow everyone. Also, go to my YouTube, like and subscribe because you know what? We might be moving to other platforms, and you don't want to miss out. Invite somebody, share, 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 and let them be liberated. Yes, like also Pastor Ovia's page. Follow her on YouTube, Prophetess Ovia Emmanuel. What's happening tonight? The all night, and it's a voice. It's the voice of thanksgiving. Know that all your prayers have been answered. Come with your mouth filled with thanksgiving. Praise the living God. I love you with the love of the Lord. And I decree and declare uh, the spirit is outpoured on you for great and mighty exploits in Jesus' name. Love you, love you, love you. God bless you.